Hello, hello and welcome my dear friends. It is a wonderful day and I am super happy that we get to connect. I am looking forward to everybody who is going to tune in live today and I'm also looking very much forward to connect with everybody who's going to watch this later as a video. You can also catch me on YouTube and I am always looking forward to these gatherings because there is a way that we can connect through the ether through these platforms and celebrate together, connect with each other, even though we cannot be in the same room. So thank you very much for being here, for tuning in, and most importantly, for us to learn together. I always like to put some kind of a topic around these gatherings, something that I can present to you, I can share with you, and then doing some exercises around it, and most importantly, give you an experience with it. So that is my intent, like always, to make it exciting, to give you something really valuable and something practical that you can then apply in your life. From the feedback that I'm getting from you guys, as well as our growing numbers, I am super happy with how you guys are receiving what I'm offering here. So I'm just going to keep pumping out these gatherings and uh, putting them out there for you guys. We are at the end of the month, so this is the last one for March, and then I'm just going to continue them into April, okay? So awesome, awesome, you guys. I'm very excited about that. It keeps me accountable. It keeps me totally on my path with immersing myself in these subject areas as I'm practicing, as I'm thinking about what I want to present. And of course, I'm also taking myself to the exercise and I have my trusted journal here ready for more information. I already wrote down what I want to do with you guys this evening and the kind of exercise we're going to experience together. So that's what I'm really excited about here. All right, so everybody, let's just do a little stretching, get yourself comfortable. Ah, let go of the day, wherever you're at right now, whatever you have been accomplishing for today already, let that all go for right now. Thank yourself quickly. Ah, well done, my dear. And now let it all go. Shake it all off. Mm -hmm. Just become present. Get here now. Settle in yourself. Ah, and just a nice deep breath, a sigh perhaps. Just be here with me now. Be here in our circle. Many people will join us. I'm grateful for every single one of you. I love it when you say hi, when you make comments, when you ask questions. And a lot of the content here comes from you guys. So please don't be shy. Let me know what you need, what you want from me and how I can be of service, okay? So think about it that we are together here and this is a circle of learning that we are supporting each other as we are on our individual journeys and that's what is this evening is all about today it's about really tapping into this personal journey the hero's journey you saw in the description that we are all on that connects all of us because we are individually on our journey and we are collectively on the journey as well. And so by you proactively engaging with that journey, you're going to have a completely different gig going on than if you're just stumbling along and need to be nudged and prompted by the universe. So having a conscious decision of being the hero in your own story being conscious about certain aspects that are part of the journey. For example, that you will step through a portal whenever you are committing yourself to change, that you are leaving some part of you behind, perhaps an old identity that has worn itself out, and you are actually stepping through a portal, through a gate into an unknown space, a new identity, that you're now growing into, a new skill that you're learning, a new calling that you are following. And when you know that, that this is a natural part of life's evolution and part of that journey that connects all of us, then that makes it so much easier for you when change presents itself, when you are being challenged, when you are being tasked. And then you can go, oh, Hey, that's just me embarking on my journey. That's just me stepping through the portal right now. And you know what's really cool about the portal? The portal has guardians. People who are there guarding the portal, making sure that the people who are stepping into the portal know what they're doing, 
And so some of those guardians are the cheerleaders and some of the guardians are the naysayers. And when you know that and you are embarking on a new adventure and you are sharing something with your loved ones or your neighbors or your community at work and some people say, oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, that's just not my style. Then you can go, ah, those are just some of those guardians. The other people who say, oh, you're doing so wonderful. What a great idea. I totally support you. You can go, ah, those are the guardians. Being conscious of the elements of the journey make it easier for you as you develop, as you transform, as you change, as you are being tasked with the challenges, the opportunities that are coming your way. And I just gave you one tiny example about, for example, the portal. And there are many more aspects to the hero's journey. That, by the way, I have several videos. And actually, I did one session in the beginning of 2023 that you can go back to very specifically about the hero's journey. So just one aspect is what I just shared with you. And there are many more aspects that all make sense, that are universal, that everybody can tap into and then map over into your own life and go, how does this apply? How does this help me to make sense of my personal journey right now? And another aspect, and that's the one that we're going to play with today very specifically, is the new chapter. So the cool thing is when the hero has gone on their quest and then they come back and they've learned their lesson and they've transformed and everything is wonderful and they start sharing it with their community, what happens is that they then get called on their next adventure. And that's what makes life so interesting. The second you come back to your home and you are now entering that home in your transformed way and therefore you are going to experience your home very differently, then the universe knocks on your door again and nudges you gently onto your next adventure. And this is something that we can take advantage of, that knowledge that this is a natural part of life by aligning ourselves with the time of the year that we're in right now, having all of these new beginnings, just having celebrated equinox. This is the time that the days are starting to get longer that all this new life is springing up around us. So I want to take the opportunity to celebrate that with you by starting a new chapter today. And let's do it consciously so that you can step into that new chapter in your life's journey with intent. You can consciously step into it with a purpose, with a calling, and intentfully take those first few steps into this new chapter. And I would like for you to start that whole process by simply thinking about what has my story been like until now? What have I experienced until now? And what is that tone of my story? Is it a tragedy or is it a comedy? Am I more the opera type? Is it a tragic comedy perhaps? Is it a thriller? Is it an adventure story? Is it a fantasy? Think about it. What is the framework that you have actually put around your story? And of course, my mind immediately says, of course, it's an adventure story with a lot of comedy. And where does your mind go instantly? Do you feel that it's been more on the dramatic side? And is that something that you actually like? Because that's how you learn your lessons and that's how you find your spiritual alignment. And if that works for you, great. Then keep it that way. We're just looking at it. We're just getting the sense of what we've been doing. Because the framework that you put around your story will absolutely color the experiences that you're going to have within that story. There's usually a lot more laughter in a rom-com, a romantic comedy, than in a thriller or an action movie or a drama. I'm just having all these different movies going through my head right now. And the question is, what do you want? Are you happy with how it's going? Is this framework working for you or would you like to up the ante a little bit? Would you like a little bit more sci-fi? Would you like a little bit more fantasy in it? 
would you like for it to turn into more of a adventure? So this is just about you getting a little bit of a feeling for what's going on. Look across your life and how it's developed with what you remember, the stories that were told to you, the stories that you made up in your own mind about how things were for your ancestors, filling in the pieces, the blank pieces. And just notice how that all lives within you, that story. From your ancestors into you now, and you're propelling that story forward. Perhaps you have children in your own family. And now you get to see them living their story. So give yourself that right now. And I'm doing it right here with you. <sighs> and perhaps there are some chapter titles that come to your mind. There's definitely one that says The Waking Up. That's a biggie. Moving across the ocean is a biggie. Starting my new school is a biggie. When I was a teenager. Yeah, there are definitely some mile markers that are standing out. So imagine those as chapter titles in your own life as well. Piece of great transformation and things that might have happened in your environment that affected you. There might have been a death in the family, there might have been a big move, there might have been a job change for your parents, a new school, a new city, new friends, a health scare. So let's just do a little sorting across all of that, your timeline, your lifeline. And do this while you're breathing deeply and you're doing it with gratitude. And no matter what that story was like, I would like for you to be able right now to look at that story with that knowingness that every single one of those things that happened somehow had to be there to bring you where you're at right now. So please do that with a heart full of gratitude appreciation, understanding, even so it doesn't all make sense to you perhaps right now. Allow yourself to already feel that in the vortex, in the energy reality, that there is this understanding, there is this knowingness, that comfort, and you can tap into it. And now I would like for you to direct your view towards the future and ask yourself, with everything that's been happening up till now and who I have become, what is the next logical chapter for me to embark on? What is the hero's journey that I proactively invite into my life right now? And by the way, just a little side note, if you weren't ready for it, you wouldn't be tuning in right now and you would not expose yourself to this information. You would find a reason to do something else. So just knowing that you're here is to me the confirmation that a part of you is yearning for that next chapter, for you to turn that page, for you to actually start that new book for you to make some kind of change, embark on some kind of journey. Isn't that exciting? So just trust that for right now. And I would like for you to tap into your intuitive self and ask yourself, what would be a fun, enticing, exciting adventure for me to embark on? What would be compelling to me to read in my book of my life as the title of this next chapter. And I'm hearing words as in growing and transforming. 
I'm hearing the real adventure starts. I'm curious what you're hearing right now. Bumping it up. That's another one. You might hear things like, I reclaim my health. Or I'm changing myself. I'm healing myself. I'm accepting help. I'm retiring. I bet there's someone who does that. I'm on my way. I love it. Thank you, Tina. And happy, happy greetings to the East Coast. Just get a sense what's calling to you right now and what that movement is that you want to create. You might not end up with the working title today. The important thing is to get the process going. The adventure calls. And you can just make something up for right now and let that be your temporary title until it hits you when you stand under the shower or you're walking out your front door you're falling asleep at night, all of a sudden that perfect phrase hits you, that perfect sentence. Ah, oh, that's what it is. Then write it down. So the important thing is for us today is to claim that. And even if you don't have a chapter title yet that convinces you and that is super compelling to you, just work with it, whatever the temporary title is right now, that stand-in title. And I'm going to call mine The Real Adventure Begins, which is crazy when I think about it, that that's what... Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> the Real Adventure Begins. My goodness, all of this has just been the build-up? Wow. Okay, The Real Adventure Begins. I'm claiming it right now. Let's do it. So whatever it is for you right now, claim it, please. Breathe it in. Tap it in. Ah, hug it in, <laughs> claim it, say it out loud. The real adventure begins. The real adventure begins. And of course, write it down. I'm going to do that later. Take a little bit. I'm going to make sure I do that. I'm going to meditate with that for sure. I love that title. It's very enticing, very fun. So make sure that you're getting some kind of excitement behind it when you are saying that title to yourself. It's not like this... Oh, gee, that sounds boring kind of attitude. No, I want you to be really excited about it. I want you to feel some life behind it, some energy, some love, appreciation, and gratitude. Yes, I'm excited about that being my next chapter. All right? So feel into that and just get a few glimpses about what that could mean for you on the level of the people, the events, the circumstances that you're able to attract abundance, travel, new experiences, new skills that you get to develop. Just wrap your arms around that and get a sense of it. Really step into it. I want to make sure that it's ecological for you. As you are drawing the framework around your experience, we want to make sure that it's useful, that it's valuable, that it serves its purpose. And of course, you can change it at any given moment. If it brings you too much excitement and all of a sudden you're going crazy and you're like, oh my goodness, I have too much going on and too many opportunities. I've heard it from people, people who said things like, I'm opening the floodgates and I'm opening, you know, the big wall, crash down, things like that. When you use language like that, then... Things are going to happen pretty fast, so be ready for that. So you have the ability to be the director and to be the author of your movie, of your show, of your screenplay, and you can change it at any given point. So you can always make those adjustments. Please build that in. And for right now, let's just play with that very specific chapter title that you have chosen. Assume that it's working for you. And let's just give ourselves a chance for the next 30 days to play with that. Use the rest of this month and going into the next month as your playground to see what happens when you're truly immersing yourself in that frame of mind, in that kind of attitude. 
that it is an adventure, or that it is a comedy, that it is a love story, that it's a, what's it called, a multi-generational healing story. Whatever it is that's important to you right here, right now, and what you would like to put your energy towards to over these next few months. That's what this is about. It can create a framework for you. It can create a guiding light for you as you are developing and moving on. I'm very excited that we're doing this together, you guys. And just sitting here and dedicating this time to this process of acknowledging what has been and thanking it, being present in the here and now, and then determining this is what I'm opening myself up to next. So that's what I'm excited about for us doing today here together. And thank you for being part of that. Ah, let's just breathe all of that in and stretch. Ah, make sure it all lands in your body. It goes into your cell structure, goes into your system, becomes part of who you are because you are the hero of your story. You are the protagonist of that story that you're writing by living your life. Isn't that cool? And give yourself that. Of course, you are one of many and we're all special in our own way. So give yourself that for that focus that you put on yourself right, right here and right now. And then be part of the wholeness. Be that facet that you are meant to be with the resources that you bring, the talents, the skills that are so uniquely yours. That's what I'm wishing for you, that you can fully accept that within yourself, that you can fully embrace that and live it every day of your life. And by putting a chapter title around those experiences, it's just like setting your intent in the morning. When you take those two minutes in the morning and say, today I'm having following tasks, following goals that I want to accomplish, and my intent is to do everything with joy. Today my intent is to just be fully present and enjoy the magic that life has to offer. Those are frameworks. It's like a template that you're putting around the experiences that you're going to have. It works just as well as if you say, I'm going to have a crappy day. Trust me, it does, because I've tried it many times and it works. And then I realized, oh, it makes so much more sense to say, I'm going to have an awesome day. Let's see how many wonderful people I'm going to meet today. Let's see how many wonderful surprises I can create today. And one of the things that is going around in our mastermind groups right now is the synchronicities. Let's see how many synchronicities I can attract again today. And man, they're going nuts. It's hilarious. So creating a chapter title is like a more elaborate intense setting. It's for a longer time period. And it creates the framework for the kind of experiences that you are subconsciously attracting into your reality. And I highly recommend that you go back one week and look at the RAS video that I made and re-immerse yourself in the teachings of the RAS and what it means to keep creating a healthier and healthier reticular activating system. So please make sure that you're watching that as well and do the exercises. And by the way, I have been following through as I had promised that I would make it a project for six weeks and there it is. I made it and I show you this, my RAS goals. And so I've been writing many, many pages already and I'm doing a lot of positive affirmations towards the healing of my RAS and so on and so on. So that is what I'm offering to you guys, that you are truly communicating proactively with your mind. You have influence, you have choice, you have opportunities. You can constantly learn and grow. You are plastic. Your brain is plastic, which means it is awesome, 
easy to change. It will change until the day that you move on to the next plane. It will always adjust itself. It will always learn and grow and transform. The miracles that they are able to discover now with people's self-healing and what's able on a medical level that is being written about is just absolutely fascinating. So open yourself up for yourself as well that you can create so much more than you give yourself credit for. And let that reflect in the chapter title that you are wrapping around your experiences. Okay, got a deal? So I highly, highly recommend that you practice this as much as possible, that you are going to create some anchors for yourself, that you write down that chapter title, perhaps even fill in some pieces in the form of some of the goals that you have for this year or this next bit of time, that you are going to create the circumstances in your environment. You hear me talking about this a lot, that you want to create the environment that is conducive to the practices that you want to do. So give yourself that as well, that you're putting up little reminders, little anchors, that you are having a journal that is right there. And then when you wake up in the morning, you can write down your dreams, for example, or thoughts that come to you, or a beautiful affirmation that is meaningful to you. Put in the kind of music, put in the kind of meditations and affirmation videos that are going to help you to center yourself. I listen to the Morning Rampage from SDX almost every day, and I absolutely love it. A lot of times I'm finishing the sentences with her. I laugh, I make little dance moves. I stretch and say it, I repeat things that she's saying, and that's my routine, it's part of my 10 minutes, that little chunk that I'm giving myself. Sometimes I do it more often, I let it run two, three times. So find the ways that support you to put into practice what you're learning here. I always put a lot of emphasis on that and I'm going to say it again. And for those of you who want even more practice and higher level accountability, we have one more mastermind group this very weekend on Saturday. And then we're going to meet again in April and I'm putting those dates together currently because I am going to be doing some traveling. And so I will check in with you guys later with more details about that, okay? Right on your gang. I so very much enjoy my time with you. And I'm hoping that you get a lot of value from what we talked about today, that you are able to put it into practical application, learn more about the hero's journey, also learn more about the RAS, and make sure that you're keeping that new chapter title that you just created for yourself available to you for these next few weeks so that you can grow more and more into it and create some of those stepping stones that are going to lead you towards the fulfillment of your goals, okay? All right, my friends, I'm gonna make it short this evening. It is a wonderful snowy evening here in Salt Lake City. What am I saying? I'm not even in Salt Lake City, I'm in Kanab in Southern Utah, but I've been looking at the weather in Salt Lake City because I'm going to go up there here in a couple of weeks. And the family is calling, I get to spend time with the grandbabies and I'm looking very much forward to seeing you guys again. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And until soon again, bye-bye.